all the care and planning that uh, that we put into the uh, into the landscaping, I think, makes it makes University Village stand out. Obviously, along with the uh, the architecture, um, we've worked with three really great architectural firms: uh, Papa George Hames, uh, Fitzgerald Associates, and Roy Cruz. And uh, uh, three, uh, three veterans. Three veterans. Three veterans. So uh, as we're you know we're heading south here. Uh, Again, unfortunately, it's uh, March, but uh, you know, as soon as uh, everything really starts to pop, you'll you'll see a big difference in in terms of color. Uh, you know, again, a lot of care was taken into the planning of landscaping and, and a variety of landscaping that you know is going to grow throughout the year. Um, so. And these look like Papa George pieces. These are, yeah, these are certainly Papa George Hames homes. Uh, this was our first phase. We uh, had 187 townhomes and uh, walk-up condominiums as part of our first phase. Along with, uh, we started with our uh, loft buildings. Those are the two units uh, or two buildings to the far west. So, um, this is uh, Village Court. It's. Uh, you know, it was designed by Papa George Haynes, the, the planning, the site planning and, and the buildings. And uh, it's, uh, it's just like was, a little... This uh, comp was completed when? Uh, it was completed, I believe it was 19... Uh, no, I'm sorry, 2003. So we uh, started construction in May of 2001. We started selling homes in uh, June of uh, 2000. Uh, there's 661 units. The west side of uh, Halstead, and another, uh, I believe it's another uh, 207 units on the east side of east side of Halstead. What's the scope of the overall development? Uh, totally getting up when, uh, when you're done. Uh, it'll be 890 units. Okay. It'll be 890 units. There's uh, the two mid-rise buildings ahead of us that were designed by Fitzgerald Associates. Uh, each building has 98 units. Um, the two loft buildings you can't see right now to the west of us uh, have 93 units each. And the remainder of the units are um, townhomes, walk-up condominiums, and our single-family product, which um, we just introduced uh, in our last phase, our, our phase three on the east side. So, quick and head this way. Can, are you, uh, how familiar are you with uh, University Village? Not, not at all. Okay. Let's assume I'm not at all because most of the people watching this will be not at all. Okay. Well, what you have here, uh, as we're walking down this path, this is we call this College Parkway. When we were in the planning phase of uh, of University Village, the city was uh, this, the input from the city was uh, was significant. What uh, the city had required us and, they, and challenged the architects to do was to plan as much green space as possible interspersed throughout the neighborhood and not just in in uh, one cluster or one area so this way everybody has a little piece of something it's there's gardens and parks Again, what, 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 I, what I'm looking at as I look at this is uh, spaces I'm comparing them to uh, north side developments where we have more openness and wider kind of street scape here than what I'm used to seeing in a lot of places, or say River West, where I was yesterday, uh, not River North. Uh, we've got more space between the units and the years. Sure. Well, what you well what you have here is again, it's, it's a matter of uh, this is kind of like a green necklace. If you go to the west, we have a fountain park. Uh, a little further west of that is a uh, small top lot. And as you head east, what you will find east that's uh, in the middle of construction right now is a large half-acre um, playground, which even though we're, uh, construction is complete on the park and we have homes being built around it, every day you'll find a lot of kids already playing in that park. Um, along with that, a lot of families with kids buying in here? Uh, there's quite a few families with young children who are living here, as well as uh, families with older kids that uh, the kids are uh, attending high school, whether it's uh, St. Ignatius or, or the other uh, high schools in the area.
What is, do you have uh, Whitney Young not too far from here? Whitney Young is uh, is not too far. It's uh, right up the block. Is that uh, still the top rated high school in Chicago? I know Whitney Young is, uh, is, is is high up there in ranking. I'm not sure which is the top is, rated the, high school. It's up there. there. Sure. It's a sure. magnet school. Yep, it's well known. It's yep. well known. So. Uh, what, what, what am I looking at here? What are uh, what you're looking at to the to the south here is um, is four townhomes. These are our larger townhomes. This is uh, another phase that was done by Papa George Haynes. Um, I don't know if you can notice the um, the round bay areas in the homes. It was to give uh, I guess the, a style to the neighborhood. Uh, you'll find that mostly in the first phase. Behind the townhome zone in the beige building are uh, two old warehouse buildings. Uh, the building to the west used to be Salvage One. So those mid-rises are uh, rehab conversions? That's a rehab conversion. You know, let's, let's head this way. Yep. I'm going to point an interesting uh, fact out to you. Um, this project is was built in conjunction. We're, we're, we call ourselves South Campus Development Team. We really teamed up with the University of Illinois, who had a, a, a need, a desire, a strong interest to see this area revitalized. Um, the university, along with the city of Chicago, um, uh, signed a redevelopment agreement um, to help acquire the land uh, to do a lot of the infrastructure, a lot of the environmental remediation to uh, make this all possible. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out is we're heading towards the, uh, the loft building here. I probably sound a little lot like a commercial, don't I? Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Well, um, what I want to know is what, what's that pretty grass? You can't, it's everywhere now. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I'd have to ask our, uh, our landscaping here. To, but, okay, right here. Uh, I don't know if you can notice, or you, if you see that white wall to the to the west here, that, yep, that being that the railroad embankment. That railroad embankment uh, was something that, that ran, ran from the west here to the east, past these buildings, right ahead of these buildings, was removed in order to help with the construction of University Village. It opened up the fronts of these two buildings. Um, what's interesting, if uh, if you own in, in these two loft buildings, what you would find on the ground floor is you would find a concrete trussle that is still part of the building that was used in the train line. used to have a spur that ran through the buildings to uh, service the two buildings with, uh, with whatever was being delivered. So it's just, so, just like the monorail at Disney World. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's it's rather neat. Um, you know, it's a, a nice feature of the building that was that was saved. So we're really looking at a, an awful lot of openness again compared to other developments. Yeah. Well, let's head north here. I want to point out a few other other features. And basically, the development's integrated with the street grid too, in a way. That That's right. What we're here is uh, the Sangamon Street has been here for forever, as well as Peoria to our east.